Well, the holiday shopping season is here. I don't need to tell you that. And with the possibility of more supply chain issues popping up, hopefully not as bad as last year, you're going to want to shop early. And no one shops earlier than our next guest. Audience, give it up for the one, the, <laughs> the only, Steve Greenberg, the gadget guy, everybody. Hi. Steve. Okay. Steve, um, let me see which one. Oh, it's number one. Nice sweater, buddy. Well, you know, you can't do the holidays without an ugly Christmas sweater. So it's a challenge every year for me to find something different from the year before. This is from UglyChristmasSweater.com. And these are custom sweaters. They do a lot of sweaters, but this one you can upload a picture of yourself or your logo, and they'll turn it into a Christmas sweater. They've got lots of different styles that you can do. Uh, about 60 bucks or so. What's great about it is that I ordered this and got it in three days. So it's very fast turnover. So uh, check out ugly sweater, uglychristmaswear.com. Yeah. Yes. Steve, uh, you flashed it real quick. Did I see the logo for your for your t for your show? That there we go. Yeah. What the heck is that, everybody? <laughs> That's right, the gadget. Shameless. I know. <laughs> I mean, I know our viewers know Steve rarely mentions his show, but I just wanted to get it out there right away. Right, Steve? Right, buddy? I'm just so, sh I'm so shy, so bashful. I, hate I to know. It, yeah. What's there next, my friend? <laughs> okay, let's go down here. This is from the folks at Spin Master, and this is their Air Hogs uh, Flippin' Frenzy. So you got to have a great toy. This toy I love because you can play inside the house. It doesn't damage anything. It's got these really soft wheels. I'll do a little spinning here. You can flip it from red to uh, blue to back to red again. And it does some really cool stuff. It spins around, goes that way. And if it hits me or the wall or a chair, it's not gonna cause any damage. And it can go just so crazy. So this is the, the, the flipping mode here where it goes from the blue car to the red. And then here's just going, just plain crazy. So you check out, it's from Air Hogs. It's, and what's great about it, again, if it hits a wall or something, it's fine. It's not gonna damage your house. So moms like it, kids like it. It looked like Ted breakdancing in the 80s. <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I, I thought that too. I, I, that's exactly, it looked like a little break, it looked like a breakdancing person, yeah. Okay. It, it, it did. Well, What's okay, ne next? Moving on here. This is from the folks at Kodak, and this is their Step Slim a mobile printer. So it's an instant mobile printer. This takes pictures from your phone, and, and it fits literally in your back pocket. It's that small. And then you can take the pictures from your phone, with a free app and then you can add all sorts of like uh, little things on like stickers and frames and make it holiday festive and then you get these pictures out here and you peel them back and it's sticky so you can stick them onto a photo album or a, a gym locker or a loose leaf and it's just a lot of fun great price point and it's a great way to get those pictures out of your phone out of the digital world and into the real world steve is it me i mean you see this stuff with obviously more regularity than we do it seems that Kodak, is it just me? Kodak is really trying to move away. I mean, they were just film. Obviously, film is not as prevalently used by the public. They've really innovated and kind of recalibrated. Am I right on that? Well, you know, I, I, I can't speak directly to it because I think the name Kodak is actually a licensed name now, just like Polaroid is. Oh. I don't know if the company is really there. I think other companies can license that name, like Westinghouse and Polaroid and Kodak. Those brands, I don't think are the companies they used to be, but their brand is so strong and people know the Kodak name and know the Polaroid name that they actually then take it and incorporate it into a new company. See, so I think that's what you're seeing here. See, I, I knew you would teach us something. That is fascinating. I, I love it. We have one more for this segment, right? Yes, and you know, the number one question I get from viewers, a lot of your viewers ask, what's a safe kid's phone? for my kid, you know, like he's eight years old, 10 years old, I, I want to get him a smartphone, I want to be in touch with him, but I'm just scared about what, can, you know, what, the, what I'm opening, what door I'm opening up. So the safest phone I could find out there is a company called Bark. It's a Bark phone here, it's brand new to them. This is, what kids like about this phone is that one, it doesn't look like a kid's phone, it looks like a grown up phone, because it is. This is actually a Samsung A13, but it's pre-wired with the Bark stuff inside it. So when you get it, you turn it on, it's immediately in the BARF world. And then parents can monitor uh, text messages, what you download, apps, everything. And of course, it's a GPS, so you can see where the kids are. But on top of that, as they get older, you can take away some of those controls, give them to the, ch the children themselves. So it kind of like kind of grows with your child. 
and it's gotten great reviews. Bark is name it. So if you go to bark.us, you can find out more about it. So Bark, because I don't have offspring, so Bark is the system, right? Right. It, it can be. Can it be used with like eight of various carriers? No, no, no. This is a Bark phone. So this, if you're going to get a Bark phone, you're going to get a, a Samsung A13. This is the phone you're going to get. So it's not a a downloadable app. Got it. Unloaded. This is actually pre-installed in the phone, so you actually it's it's a lot more secure. You can't hack around it. Uh, the company claims it's tamper-proof, so it really is a, a safe, safe way to go with your kids. Can we before we go to commercial? Can we zoom into your sweater? I really just need a really good shot of your sweater. <laughs> <laughs> What can I tell you? Just, I'm bashful. I'm shy. You, you truly, you truly make me happy. More with the gadget guy when we come back. Back in a moment, everyone. <laughs> oh God. Welcome back to our show. We're back with the gadget guy, the one and only Steve Greenberg, uh, live from New York, as we say. Okay, what's the next one, buddy? Okay, this is the world's only, only uh, sanitizing lamp that sanitizes the area and the air around it. It's from the folks at Otlight, and it is the Sanitizing Pro uh, desk lamp. It's got this light built into it that you has a bunch of different, uh, you can make it brighter, or less bright. But what's cool about it is that you can also, it has a sanitizing feature. So your workspace is sanitized. Plus it has this fan built into it. So it sucks in the air. There's a HEPA filter in there. It then has a UVC light in it. So it kills all the viruses, bacteria, germs, and blows out fresh air. So it not only cleans the workspace, but also the air around it. So this is great for the office, a home office, or even a dorm room. A great way to kind of kind of create a, a safer bubble as far as germs and bacteria go. Steve, do you know the price point on that one, buddy? 125. Oh, okay. That's you know what? From I believe it's at Office Depot. Okay, Office Depot. Next, uh, speaking clean, quick clean food processor. Okay, so from a clean environment to uh, cleaning up your food processor. So the biggest competition to a food processor has always been the knife because it's so easy to clean. This is kind of game changing in that the folks at Proctor Silex have actually added a clean mode right to the, uh, to the, I'm going to turn it on right now. Here we go. And what it does is you put in some water, a little bit of dishwashing soap, and it goes through the cycle. And in about 40 seconds, it'll actually do a, a major cleaning of all the blades, discs, and everything right inside your cleaner. So it makes it so much easier to clean up. Yeah. And hey, of course, it'll, it'll still dice with life and do all that great stuff as well. Steve, can I, t okay. yeah. <laughs> can I tell you, <laughs> when, you when you picked up that kid-sized knife and you waved it in front of the camera, the entire studio audience ducked. Everybody just ducked. Wait. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. It does have that uh, Friday the 13th thing love, going on there. But no, no. You, you could have shown us any knife. You chose the biggest one in your kitchen. <laughs> you know, you got to, you know, go big or go home. What can I tell you? Even with knives. OK, We're, last but not least, <laughs> DIY is huge right now. Do it yourself, everything. And one area that's growing that most people may not be aware of is sewing machines. They're back. People want to learn how to sew again. And this is a, a hot trend. And this is from the folks at Genomi, and this is their Arctic Crystal sewing machine. And don't let the color fool you. This is a serious sewing machine. It's got a metal framework built into it, but it's very portable. It's great for a beginner, but also for someone who knows how to sew. But it'll actually, you can, there's a lot of stuff in it that makes it very easy. It's got 15 pre-built stitches in it, like a stretch stitch, a zigzag switch, and a, a, a buttonhole switch built into it. In fact, prove it, this same machine did, made this uh, denim jacket, this, uh, pocket, this purse with a zipper, and even this uh, quilt. So it can really do real stuff. And if you want to actually create really cool things, this is a great way to start from the folks at Genomi. So uh, again, kind of an homage to uh, do-it-yourselfers. This is it. And usually we show tools. Yeah. This is kind of nice to show kind of a, uh, a tool. And by the way, my dad was big on sewing. He did all did the sewing in my family. So it's, it's a great, a great uh, skill to learn. Did you, you're telling me that you showed all those items that you just showed me? I, did, I, did I make them? Yeah. No, are you kidding? <laughs> I, can, I, can, I can barely dress myself. You think I, I know. Make this? No, 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 they're no, just, no. They're demo even, items, right, Steve? Yeah, 
Yeah. Absolutely. But I, but I actually did make sure that they were made by a machine exactly like this one. So this is the kind of stuff you can literally make everything on it. Again, yeah. it's out of my skill set, but I'm sure there are a lot of folks uh, in your audience that yeah. could actually, you know, can, can tackle it and do it. I'm not one of them, unfortunately. S Steve, it's that time. <laughs> it's that time, my friend, before we go, tell everyone about your wildly popular game show. Well, now it's on a, a network called DBTV, so we've expanded. DBTV is carrying the show, as well as if you go to Usync, it's on there as well. But it's YouTube is where you folks can find it easily. It's called What the Heck Is That? <laughs> and if you love gadgets and you love a good game show, you learn about a new gadget in each episode. If you scan this QR code, it takes you right to the YouTube channel, so you can check it out. So if you love games, you love gadgets, what the see, heck is that? See, Check it out. Steve, uh, Ted tried that QR code. It took him to a nudist colony, by the way. Well, if you like nudists, if you like gadgets <laughs> and game shows, it's perfect for that. <laughs> I love you, you buddy. Go Have a good holiday. Go Talk to you soon. Happy holidays. Take care. Bye-bye. Go support Steve. It was a nudist colony, right, Ted? That's right. Yeah, that's where Jeff is, actually. That's where he is on vacation. <laughs> His wildly popular online game show is called What the Heck Is That? <laughs> Go to GadgetGameShow.com. We have a very funny throwback when we return back in a moment. Stay with us. Oh, Steve. Steve, Steve.